So there I was sitting here about 30 minutes ago and I was trying to get some work done here at the computer and I realized it was too quiet in this room. I'm one of these people I don't I can't work in a noisy environment, but at the same time, I don't want it to be as silent as the grave. I like to have a little ambient background noise, some rain or some crickets chirping, people walking in a busy city, things like that. So I was thinking, well, I could probably search the internet and find some kind of ambient noise app <laughs> that maybe would sit in my cis tray and I could choose between various ambient noises to play here at my workstation. But I was like, why bother wasting all that time to go find a program to do this. This is such a simple solution, a, a simple problem to solve. So what I did is I created a thing. The first thing I needed, I needed some sound files. So what I did is I did a quick search on DuckDuckGo for free to use ambient sound files. And what I came up with was an article, actually, uh, this article from premiumbeat.com. And this article is four years old now, but at the bottom of the article, there is a list of 15 ambient sound files. There's the titles and the download link, which links to an Amazon download link link on AWS. So I grabbed these 15 sound files here and then I decided what I needed to do was create a dmenu script that allowed me to search between these 15 sound files or if I wanted to maybe play a random sound file. So let me switch over to my desktop and I'm going to launch Emacs here and this was what I came up with. I, again, I, I was sitting here uh, not half an hour ago and uh, now, this looks like it's a lengthy script, but it's really not. Overall, it may be 20 lines of actual bash scripting, and a lot of the comments were just copy and paste jobs, but it's a lot of the same formats for many of my other D menu scripts. But essentially, what I do is I create this D menu. Uh, I have this options array here where I can choose a sound file to play, so a single file, or I can play a random sound file. So just pick one at random, and then of course, I can stop the player. So let me launch this. A D menu script. You see, I have ambient sounds, this prompt, and choose sound file, play random sounds, stop sound player, or just quit out of this menu here. And if I choose choose sound file, this is a list of those 15 MP3 files that I found from that article. And if I wanted to choose one, maybe I want to choose Thunderstorm. And there is Thunderstorm playing. Now, if I wanted to kill that, I needed to get back into this menu and choose stop sound player. So that is how that works. By the way, I've also set these to where when I play the ambient sound files, because these sound files are typically like a minute and a half, two minutes in length. What I've set them to is to, to loop. <laughs> so the ambient noise will continue until I actually stop the sound player. And what I'm using for this is I'm actually using MPV to play those sound files. So there is the uh, MPV dash dash loop. You have to give it the uh, dash dash loop flag to repeat a file. And I'm not going to go over the details of this script. If you've seen one little bash script, you've seen them all. But the main point of this was I had a problem. I needed to solve and and seriously it just took a few minutes to come up with this it wasn't very complicated and i'm pretty happy with the results i could probably clean this up and make it even more extensive in some way but you know what this little script it does exactly what i need and i see so many people out here uh, especially new to Linux users and people trying to get into scripting and they're not sure why they even need to learn scripting. You know, like, uh, what, what's the point? I'll never actually need to write a script for anything as a desktop Linux user. Well, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how many times you're sitting here doing work and you come up with something, you have this problem that needs to be solved. And a lot of times the way to solve it is through a simple script. Now, for those of you that want to see this very quick and dirty script that I wrote, I will push it to my GitLab and I'll link to the, the script itself. And I'll also link to those sound files as well in the show description. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show. Absy, Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Arch5530, Chuck, David, the other David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Polytech, Scott, Steven, Sven, Wes, and Willie. They are the producers of this episode. Without these guys, I couldn't do what I do. I also couldn't do what I do without each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because my channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. I don't have any corporate sponsors. If you'd like to help me out, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.